third phase of moon. Third. Welcome back to Third Phase Moon. Blake Cousins here. Incredible report coming in today, right here on Third Phase of Moon. Jim Martin from the infamous fan club on YouTube shares over 18 UFO videos that he captures with his full spectrum Canon telephoto lens. Also in the special report documented by Jim Martin, more UFOs that he's captured for over a year on his balcony in Newport Beach, California, infrared video. Let's get to this incredible documentary right now. A mysterious world of UFOs and unknown anomalies lie just outside our visible spectrum. Invisible to the naked eye, these entities reside in the infrared and ultraviolet ranges of light. Utilizing all spectrum cameras, we're able to get a glimpse into this hidden dimension. UFOs traverse our skies every day, and most people will never notice. Through advancements in infrared recording equipment, we're finally able to get a closer look at these incredible objects. Over the past year, I've been steadily recording UFOs using Gen 3 night vision technology. The scope illuminates the night sky and allows me to record anomalies, like this orb falling vertically into my backyard, and this plasma UFO sending out a light pulse. Having nighttime covered, the next step was to update my cameras to record in infrared during the daytime, so I could better document the spheres with more clarity. I watched inspiring captures, like this one from Zero Point UFO, recorded in infrared during the daylight, and the persistent captures of UFO Lou, shot right outside of his house in Melbourne. I decided it was time to finally make the jump and upgrade my camera systems to record in infrared and all spectrums of light. I reached out to Spencer's camera, the industry leader in camera conversions, with the goal of updating my system to record in infrared. Spence took my Canon 70D and modified it to be a full spectrum camera. Full spectrum allows me to photograph and record in all different ranges of light by utilizing different filters on the lens. Most importantly, infrared and ultraviolet. Maintaining the quality and resolution of the Canon telephoto systems was crucial. The same resolution can be achieved with infrared once the camera is modified. Our eyes can only see a small fraction of the light spectrum. This is known as visible light. It's outside of this range of light in the infrared where many of these anomalies reside. Once you put on the filter and look through the lens, the hidden world starts to emerge. I spotted this orb at close range, filming from my balcony. It's an illuminated sphere with an almost diamond-like structure. Here's a pair of orbs flying at high speeds over Newport Beach. Next is a flashing plasma UFO filmed over the San Gabriel Mountains. You can see the craft has a black mass. This UFO was filmed on Christmas Day. I spotted this oval-shaped orb 
flying erratically through the clouds. Got a clean shot of it with the telephoto. Here's a close range orb filmed with night vision. The sphere was flying vertically, coming into my backyard. Here's the palm tree in my backyard. You can see just how low this object was. Here we inverted the color to get a closer look. Another night vision capture, fast flying object. You can see the object expand and contract. Here's another close range orb, it fell in a zigzag pattern. I followed the orb upward as it flew by the telephone wires. This is a shot of my Sony with my LRS Scout. This capture was filmed in downtown Los Angeles. The orbs are flying in two different directions. Here's a triple set of UFOs. As we zoom in, you can see the larger orb flying vertically with the smaller orb hovering in place. This object flies vertically, does a 90 degree turn, stops, then shoots off downward. This is some of the best footage I've shot of intelligent control. Here's two orbs filmed from my balcony. I spotted these in the scope. The lower orb was moving at high speeds upward, while the smaller orb was barely moving. As we zoom in, we can see the plasma structure with the black halo emanating around the object. Here's our last shot. This is one of the closest shots of an orb flying by a telephone wire in my neighborhood. The object was only visible through the scope on my camera. Below the orb, we can see a smaller light flashing. As we zoom in and add a filter, it's a large spherical structure with an energy field emanating around the object. Here we motion track and stabilize the clip, added some contrast. The orb glides across the neighborhood, slowly and confident in its position. Invisible to our eyes, its presence remains a mystery in our skies. Infrared UFOs exist in a spectrum just outside of visible light. It's a hidden world that's all around us. Like the secrets of ancient structures, we appreciate them, but don't yet understand their meaning. Once you see a UFO for yourself, it changes your perspective forever. We want to thank Jim Martin for sharing his incredible footage to us right here at Third Phase of the Moon. He is sharing his visions to the world infrared night vision. I look forward to meet Jim Martin in Los Angeles later this year to do an on-site investigation in regards to his incredible captures. Everybody, keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone. Blake Cousins, we'll see you again next time. Special thanks to Spencer's camera, UFO Lou, and Zero Point UFO. For more UFO videos, please visit Infamous Fan Club on YouTube and check out videos like this mothership orb releasing two spheres and this morphing UFO shot over Newport Beach, California. And please subscribe for new videos. We'll be releasing new captures and case studies over the next few weeks.